Hi gang, I'm my radar meteorologist Matthew Capucci. One of the most spectacular and explosive volcanic eruptions to ever occur on satellite took place on Saturday in the Southwest Pacific. By the way, if you're on YouTube, like and subscribe for more great science content. The Hunga Tonga Volcano, an underwater volcano north of Tonga near the International Dateline in the Southwest Pacific, exploded Saturday evening local time. The blast was picked up by the Japanese satellite Himawari, which detected the ashen plume reached 70,000 to 100,000 feet high in the atmosphere. This nearly tripled the altitude at which commercial aircraft fly. Here's a look at the plume towering upwards like a mushroom cloud. You can see the lengthy shadows cast by the setting sun to the east of that cloud mass. Within six hours of first blowing its top, the volcano produced a smoke plume that covered an area the size of New England. Here you see that plume drifting south of Fiji. The heat and the upward buoyancy of the plume was enough to poke into the stratosphere, generating ripple-like gravity waves that radiated outwards. We call that bubble in the middle the overshooting top. In essence, the plume penetrated the tropopause, or the ceiling, of the lower atmosphere. Meanwhile, charged ash particles in the explosive plume resulted in a prolific lightning display with more than 60,000 lightning strikes in just 15 minutes time. You can even see the lightning occurring where the upward motion was more pronounced along the gravity waves. A pattern emerges that mimics a stone dropped into a pond. Here's another look at that plume, which we call a pyrocumulonimbus, or a dirty thunderstorm cloud. It was producing an incredible 60 lightning strikes per second. Again, that's 60 strikes every second. The blast was also enough to produce a tsunami as well that rolled across the Atlantic. Arena Cove, California reported a 3.5 foot spike in water levels during the noontime hours on Saturday as that tsunami rolled through. Tsunamis move faster across oceans than commercial jetliners. Port St. Louis, California saw a 4 foot jump in water levels. In addition to the change in water levels, tsunamis can trigger dangers and erratic currents. Officials urged residents away from the water. A tsunami advisory was initially issued for much of the Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, Alaska, and the West Coast. In addition, the explosive eruption of Hunga Tonga produced an atmospheric shockwave. You can see that prominently here. Notice the sudden expansion of white in a ring radiating outwards from the volcano. That's where the shockwave is inducing a wave of upward and then downward moving air. That locally enhances and then suppresses cloud cover. The shockwave traveled all across the world. People in Alaska were actually able to hear the volcano erupting. That's more than 5,000 miles away. It wasn't heard closer in Hawaii, suggesting local weather conditions in Alaska helped reflect the sound waves down to the surface. There were even infrasound signatures recorded at stations in the Cascades in the Pacific Northwest. That signal moved at more than 800 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound. Even though we couldn't hear it in the lower 48, the shockwave did pass overhead. We can measure that by looking at barometric pressure data, i.e. air pressure. Check out these spikes as a pressure wave rode over Florida on Saturday morning. Basically, the atmosphere weighed a little bit more, thanks to slightly more air overhead, as the wavefront rolled through. Here's a great animation from our friend Daryl at Iowa State. It shows in blue air pressure rising, and then in red air pressure falling. Watch that wave ripple across the lower 48. The volcano did release tens of thousands of tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, but that doesn't appear to be enough for a significant impact on the global climate. In other words, we're not looking at something the scale of Pinatubo or Tambora. That said, the aerosols released by the volcano will likely make for crazy vibrant sunsets in the southern hemisphere during the coming days and weeks. Once again, this really was a historic event and one we'll be continuing to keep tabs on. In the meantime, keep it tuned here, Facebook, Twitter, MyRadar, and Instagram as well. And of course, download the MyRadar app. Follow MyRadar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.